What's up guys, it's your boy Dalia Mon, and welcome back to Trends Talk Trips. That's right, we are back with another video. Just gonna be traveling somewhere and gonna be talking it up. Yeah, sad, y'all. Uh, all right, moving on to the next one. <laughs> All right, and just like that, we back. Yes. We got the food. Now, we ain't gonna tell you what it is yet. We don't even know what it is. No, I'm kidding. Ah! <laughs> Imagine. I'm definitely need to know what it is. <laughs> when you have feeling allergies, you need to know what, yeah. what you got in something. But yeah, we stopped by this place. You know, the one place we always go to, and we were just waiting for our food, and then we were just checking out the cakes they had on display. And, you know, it brought up a discussion of what we like and what we don't like. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with that being said, let us know as well. And we're going to address the one thing that might cause some uh, tension. Pumpkin. Mm. Okay? Listen. It's good, but it ain't the best thing out here. All right? Y'all need to stop with it. Pumpkin spice this, pumpkin spice that. Just, we just need to it. throw pumpkin in it. Just stop it. First Every all, time it's Halloween, that's all y'all do. First of all, that's an acquired taste because pumpkin is disgusting. Like, I'm, I'm sorry if I offended any of y'all out there that be eating pumpkin crazy. I do eat pumpkin, but, mm -hmm. but my mom made it, so mm -hmm. it's different. You know, when you grow up with it, it's, it's different. Yeah. But when you put in a drink, a cake, they don't go in uh, everything. A cupcake, what are, what are they got food? Cheerios yeah, with crazy. pumpkin fla flavor. Y'all yeah, bugging. Yeah, that's Y'all no. They no. really utilize the holiday to make money. more money off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause it's like not try, not try to put it in there. Right. Like I feel like pumpkin is something that you should be able to add externally if you decide yeah. that's the option you want to go yeah. with. But the whole oh, it's it's like this. Nice. Mm -hmm. And I was then, never a pumpkin fan. And we saw like chocolate cake too. We, we talked about it. Like chocolate cake is not our favorite, but fudge and chocolate fudge. works really well. Yes. But if it's just chocolate alone, eh. If it's I'm just okay. chocolate alone, I, I have to have that in the refrigerator getting ice cold mm. for me to like enjoy it. I don't know if that's that applies to other people. I can see that. Yeah. But I can't just have it because it's like, for me, uh, it's chocolate, but it's not chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like eating a chocolate bar or oh, like yeah, something no. like that. It's literally just like a, it just tastes like something is missing. It needs like some, some texture other than the just chocolate. That's, yeah. that's what it is. So, yeah, I agree. But yeah, then we saw coconut, coconut cake. You know, it, it's again, it's a quiet taste. I don't love coconut in a lot of things. Also, I don't like coconut and chocolate. I don't know why people like that. I can drink coconut milk yes. from the coconut. Yes, I could. 100%. But when you start Amazing. putting all this on other things, no. I'm like, I can't take, I can't. And then the coconut is not consistent with the same. Like when you, when you eat coconut, from an actual coconut. Oh yeah, amazing. Versus the coconut that they do with like artificial flavoring it's and all fake. that stuff like that's not the same. It's fake people. It's not the same. That's why y'all don't really know what real things taste like because y'all never tasted the real thing. Yeah. And be like, oh, this coconut water is so good. You look, it's twenty five percent sugar, two percent juice. Yeah. And. 0.1 percent coconut. Whatever, and then whatever <laughs> such and such color. Right. Like. Mm -mm. Don't we get fooled by the advertising. Stuff. Just because it has a coconut on the can don't mean it's a real coconut. Right. That's the advertising. Of course it's right. gonna be a coconut on the can. You know, but, but that was crazy. Yeah, real coconut, I can and I can enjoy that. Yeah. But in not a cake, the, I don't know. Not it. the artificial stuff, because it don't taste the same to me. Yeah. And um carrot cake as well. I'm not a huge fan of carrot cake. Yeah, and I actually love carrot cake. Like it's it's something that I grew up eating. See, that's the thing. Yeah. So I understand. Right the dynamic of it but no, if i that. didn't having carrots in my cake exactly. would probably be it's so weird weird for me it's like why is this vegetable in the sweets right like, you're supposed to be in the in the aisle of the vegetables well you're over here in, in the in this section yeah well you don't you got lost and then also too there's different grades of carrot cake yeah i can't i don't like all types because i think that's what it is i never tasted a really good carrot cake. right it, i think that's what it is Different carrot cake yeah. will give you a different something. Like I could deal with it, and I'm like, mm, I've had better. Yeah. And it's like it has to be like real ingredients in this stuff, right. yeah. If it's not real ingredients, I'm not really a fan of like artificial. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of artificial. And your body will tell you too, if you if you eat something that's like, eh, it, it will tell you mm -hmm. either in a bad way at night or the next day when you right. wake when you, up and when you grabbing on the walls in your bathroom up. because you decided you wanted to be different right. <laughs> that's why you really got to know what's in your food to be honest mm -hmm. you know, the best way obviously is to make it yourself but 
if you go somewhere and you know ask those questions like hey does this have this and this does it have this because they got to tell you they're making the food for you like, yeah and then if it does unfortunately you might not be able to eat it or you take the chance and you deal with the consequences later and that's that's your priority mm-hmm. you know? i agree like listen food is great it is like i love let's food. not ruin it you know, I, I, by doing too much you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's not ruin it. We got to try out a lot of these the cakes that we saw, though. We saw an Oreo cheesecake. Let us know if you ever had that. Right. I've never even seen that before. Now, so that's, I wanna, I wanna take now that. let's remember, that's going to be on Trends Talk Taste. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. you guys could, you know, look for it and, and find it there. Yeah, we're having a night in a minute. Yeah, I know. It's okay. We got a lot of stuff, okay? Just give us some time. We're doing a lot. <laughs> yes. But we don't want to rush anything and then it's not our best work, you know what I mean? And I that think, part. you know, because, you know, we out here. We were doing our best to give you guys the content, but we also want to put out what is going to be the best for us, too, in terms of like our efforts, our yeah. timing. And, but there's a lot more that goes into it than just turning the camera and different film. quality, yeah. you know? Yeah. And when it comes to food, you got you to gotta get it right. You got to set it up right. You got to go to the right place. Because also, even though we're trying it out, we don't want it to be bad. <laughs> like, right. We want to enjoy the food. It's true. Like I would never want to order something just because I want to taste taste it out if it's good or bad. I want to know, like in my mind, I might like this, so let me try it out. Right. It's a calculated risk. Right. Because you imagine know? you order something, you don't like it. Now, first of all, you're on camera, embarrassing whoever it was that you ordered from. Right. Because I'm and gonna be two, honest. You don't like it now. Now you not, what are you gonna do? You gotta eat it. Well. <laughs> Depending on how bad it is, yeah. <laughs> or how hungry you are. Right. That's the thing, too. A Some places that don't be really hunger. that good, but because you're hungry, it tastes good. It, you know, it's a camouflage effect. They'd be like, I don't know if I'm hungry or this is like exactly. busting, but I would rather be under those circumstances. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing. Like, you gotta do a lot of research when it comes to food. Like, that's why a lot of these restaurants, you know, you can't just, I mean, you can do whatever you want. That is your stomach. But for me, like, I'd rather at least look it up, look at the grade they got. Oh, yeah, yeah, the definitely menu. great see the, some reviews because you can't believe every review but you got to see the majority because they be in there making them themselves they yeah. be like oh my god this is so good and it's the freaking owner right. of the restaurant like stop and the kids and the kids so, the wife but you gotta you gotta look at the, the environment to look at go to it and see it like if it's clean you know if, if it looks like people actually eat there and it's not just there <laughs> like, mm-hmm. yeah and those are big things at least for me like i said you can go somewhere randomly and it could be good it can't. I'm not gonna lie, but it depends on what you're going for too. Because you're going for a sit-down restaurant, you're not just gonna pop in anywhere. You're gonna make a reservation probably. You gotta look it up. Look yeah. at the menu too, because sometimes they'll be switching it out based on the season or based on the time of day. Because some places you go after twelve, there's no more brunch or breakfast or whatever. You gotta eat the dinner menu. So right. you got a lot of research. If you're just doing a fast food place, and yeah, you can go kind of anywhere as long as you know the fast food place. But mm-hmm. that's the thing about food, man. You can't play with it. No, and you should, yeah, you really shouldn't. Don't allow other people to play with it either. Cause, and, then, um, and then when you make food for other people, just just know that you're making food for other people. Yes. All right? Whatever you would do in your own house, and you lick the spoon and stir the pot with the same spoon, uh, do that. Oh my God. But when you're making food for other people, don't do that. Okay? So cringe. Like, I, I, I don't even think that you should do it personally because those are natural, nasty habits, right? Yeah. And when you have natural yeah. nasty habits, it's you tend place. to do it yeah. even in the times where you don't really, yeah. like you're not trying to do that because you know how I'm cooking for other people. Right. But like the things that you do normal <laughs> is gonna reflect on how yeah. you're cooking for other people as well because yeah. it's a subconscious thing. It's not something that That's you're true. actually thinking of like, I'm about to lick this bowl right now. <laughs> Just practice you know, yeah. good habits when it comes to cooking anyway. Yeah. Because why, even if yeah. somebody comes over, right? Because I always think about it like this, you guys. If a person comes over to your house, you didn't really expect them or whatever, or things change in a way to where it's like, all right, well, I didn't know that we were going to have this arrangement, but I have food. I don't want you to have to go out and buy anything or whatever the case yeah. is. You're going to serve them the food that you already had there. And yeah. with those habits that you had, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes people yep. forget about that or they just feel bad. Like, damn, I did all kinds of things to the and food while I was... can't eat from everyone's house. Yeah, you can't. Like, it's okay to say no. It's okay. Right. Like, even, if you, even if you mad hungry, you just got to yeah. be like, no, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Because again, you don't know. And also, remember, you're in your own, your own kitchen, your own house. Things are flying. Who knows if you're wearing clothes? Let's just let's be real about it. 
Who knows what y'all doing? There's no hair nets. You might be wearing pajamas. You don't know what's going on in that kitchen. You, you might have just rolled out of bed and started cooking. Right. Then brush your teeth. Right, exactly. Yeah. Nothing. You got crust in your frosted flakes, and you thinking it's just frosted flakes. It's like what? Well, you, you can't. You can't do it. You can't do it. I'm hollering. You can't do it. People. Not you got extra flakes. Listen. I don't I know what not. some people get up, eat, then brush your teeth. I can't do it. But I'm not cooking for somebody else. Well, yeah, all in all, just be, just be careful, people. If you don't like other places to mess with your food, don't mess with your food when you're also making food for other people. Yeah. All right? It, it goes both ways. It definitely does. It's gross. It's all these leaves out here. Yeah, it's fall. It's literally fall. <laughs> like, they ain't even trying to hide it. I need to get me a little um, leaf blower. Okay, let me tell you something about leaf blowers, because it annoys me. Why are y'all blowing leaves? Why don't they don't make like a vacuum to suck up the leaves? Because y'all blowing the leaves. I mean, they do. And it's then it's going over there. Something like that costs so much. Well, it's guess very, what? very expensive. It's more messy. It all depends on how a person does, because not everybody knows how to blow leaves properly. Like when you blow I leaves, know. you're supposed to be blowing them into a direction that's gonna allow you to create a pow so that you can then clean that pow up. And that's what like I'm saying. And it in different things so like you're that. doing double work. Yeah, for the price, for the for the cost. So you might as well just have it where you can just suck it up one shot and you're good to go. Yeah. Like why I gotta they do, do that They do have work. that though. We all sign out with that note. As you know, we gotta get to the house and start eating. Yeah, but yeah, wow. we're gonna open it up and show y'all what we got. Yes. <laughs> that part. So stay tuned. Mm. All righty, we made it finally. Now we're gonna do the un unboxing. It's kind of a bad habit if you think about it to take your food out when you get home because if it's wrong, it's too late. Y'all seen it. <laughs> y'all seen it. All right. We learned this together, y'all. So we got this first little bag here. A lot of stuff in here so i like stuff we got utensils because you know you gotta just have that this is a ranch you know there's 99 cents right here i didn't know old dollar but it's here <laughs> and then we got all the syrups yes. and butters because they think i want to get fat that's what it is <laughs> like because this is all for me this, oh this, okay this is all for me like <laughs> Butter, I don't usually, I don't usually put, but I, I, syrup, I'll, I'll do it. I don't want to. My thing is, I don't want to put the butter because it's not even going to spread correctly. You know, mm. like it should be melted already, and you just yeah. drizzle it if you want to add it in. But thank you. And for me, I got the chicken Ooh. tenders with waffles. See that there? Yeah. Okay, there you go. That looks, looks good. Looks nice and seasoned. Maybe you want to show the peeps so what you got? That seasoning it smells great important. here, by the way. Oh, yeah, I can't smell it, uh. but. It smells great. Okay, so this is my mm -hmm. waffles, sausages, and eggs. There you go. Yeah. Yes. They doing it. They did it. They, did. they definitely did. And you know, now you guys are gonna uh, get some food. Like we always say, you know, just because we eat in, I mean, you gotta watch us eat. Right. You gotta eat yourself. Nourishment. We just talk about food. Okay. <laughs> so please eat Good. if you haven't already. <laughs> and thank you guys for coming on the trip with us. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.